Do you want to utilize your lockdown days? Do you have so many photos you cannot come out but you want to at least print them to see in these lockdown days and get the joy of going back to your old memories? If yes, then this video is for you. Please see this video till the last so that you can find out at the till the last of the video that how to make a album uh, from start to end so let's start for creating a video sorry for creating an album I will be choosing a website called photogenic so there are two ways we can create album one is to install a software provided by a album developer vendor and other one is directly developing the album online in the online editor so this time we will go with the online editor so now in the photogenic you can see there are so many options and for photo books also there are so many options and there are many other kind of prints possible as you can see the banner also so we will pick the first one today and next time we will be picking the other items so please don't forget to subscribe my channels to get self dependent and not to go to any photographer for printing such simple tasks these are really very simple uh, nowadays uh, any photography website made it so simple that you uh, hardly need some photographer's help so let's start uh, today we'll start with the hard book hard cover book so let me click here now you see this website is providing so so to see to prepare an album you need to see few things like the paper quality is it waterproof dust proof is it uh, glossy or matte finish how hard is the uh, and the cover is or or how how good quality printout they makes so for the quality part of the printout uh, you can see some reviews and and ask your friends who have already printed from some website so I have found the photogenic is a fair enough printout with a budget friendly uh, um, cost so so we'll, we'll explore uh, something here uh, today so there are two options here you can see like the dust jacket and image wrap so what are they and then you can see the sizes so as you can guess these are the various sizes of album possible so you can print a small pocket size album like 6 cross 6 and it will cost starting from 450 and then per sheet they will add some amount so it will start with some amount some page, pages and then you can add uh, some more pages and each page will be cost so now we will know what is image drive and what is dust jacket for that they have given the help here so you can see the just dust jacket photo book the dust jacket is laminated tear resistant with a detachable cover sleeve that wraps around the cover of your photo book great for extra protection and enhanced presentation so you can see this image you can i think you can get it well and then the image wrap photo book a photo album with printed hard cover in matte finish made it made to last as it scratch and water resist so I usually prefer the second one because the first one once you try to attach and detach in the process of doing so the edges might be damaged and that can start a tearing and that can end end up tearing a good amount of the, of the image. So this kind of detachable thing I am not a good fan of that but you can find out a good reason to buy that but I will go with the image wrap photo book. So the image wrap photo book and uh, 6 cross 6 is a very small photo album so if I want to print something at least I will go for 8 by 11. So that's a sweet spot between price and size. So now we will click on the get started but before that we will see what are the details. Printed on lustre silk paper so the lustre silk is neither a glossy not a matte finish it's a middle of both so you will get benefit and disadvantage of both sides so the glossy you as you can uh, as you know or you, uh, you may not know that uh, glossies are actually some shining uh, you will see the surface is shining the photo will be shining 
and the mat you will not see the photo to be signing but the problem about in the signing part uh, is a good part for the um, glossy glossy uh, papers but the problem is uh, they they can be uh, too much signing sometimes that the photo cannot be visible and for matte finish it's not signing and uh, it can um, it can catch dust so uh, in middle of both of them you can find out the lustrous silk which is um, uh, which has uh, both sides disadvantage and advantage both in some medium level but um, i like this because it's uh, almost like a non tearable paper and also the uh, also the texture i all i like so with this i will okay so what else is there book starts with 10 sheets so we have to minimum you have to at least uh, print out 10 sheets now if you think of uh, printing one photo in a single page uh, then 10 sheet means uh, 20 pages one sheet means one single paper it has two side so 20 pages so at least you should have 20 photos to print in all the 20 pages but if you want to print two or three or in average two means in some page you will print four photos some page one photo some page two but in average it will come something around that you can make the calculation based on the dimension of the photo and the dimension of the album so the dimension of the photo if it is a uh, it's a lengthy photo like like we say it's portrait photo so here you can see this one is a portrait kind of photo where the length is more and uh, uh, width is more and the height is less and uh, the other example is the uh, landscape where right? this one you can see the uh, the width is more and height is uh, less or maybe this is not a good example you can think about this images so based on what kind of images you have taken you can arrange your page so suppose it's say 8 cross 11 so you can assume how the page will look like and now you have to you know, choose what kind of photo you want to print if you want to print this kind of photo then you can fit two i think but if you want to print this kind of one photo this kind of photo then it will be only single photo fitting there so you might have taken many variety of photos one is lands few landscape few uh, portrait so you have to make a combination such a way you can utilize the um, uh, all the white spaces in the album as per your taste so let's get started oh before that uh, okay what else is there uh, all sizes are in inches and price exclusive of tax and shipping so those you will find later point of time so this is the pricing uh, so as you can match 6 cross 6 is 450 rupees as they say here uh, similar date cross 11 is 720 so 720 where is that yeah 720 and then um, price for additional two page is 40 rupees so that way uh, it will be calculated at the last uh, so shipping charges are also here written so you can calculate almost everything before you can enter into your cart so that way you can find out your budget what can good go good for you and then shipping information also it can be interesting for you and if you are in hurry you want to receive it very soon within 3 to 4 days go to mumbai 4 to 7 days metro area 7 to 9 10 days north and fast part and the interiors number of days refer to business day estimate only and now it is because of this covid 19 i found they are delaying their uh, delivery but uh, at least they are they are printing they are still um, up in business so uh, if you are not in hurry um, i recommend you to go with them uh, so let's get started so once you click get started it will redirect you to a page where you can you can take a basic template so the basic templates you can see so many options are there so may let me uh, choose this baby one i click on this template baby so actually they made the harder job easy for you they made the full design what usually photographer does and now you will do only the drag and drop of image part you have to first choose the images and then to drag and drop so these are the empty shells that are expecting some images they are hungry of image you have to you can drag and drop the images here and then you have to go to the next page so for the drag and drop part you can you can pick the photos what you have already selected from your my computer from your hard disk which is the my device and then upload photo and uh, you can browse to the my pictures and you can take your uh, photos whatever 
in whatever folder it is so like for example this one and take like this and then i can come back again to the album section so you already entered into my device you can go back to the previous page so you can see already this one got loaded now i want to upload something from my facebook so i have to uh, link from with facebook so i already have an account in facebook and they knows what is the id um, by that they will make a link and once the link is successful you can see why photo appeared make it and then i you can see all my albums present in my facebook account so suppose randomly i'm choosing something from there suppose uh, let me choose this photo and uh, let me choose this so once I click a check, it got, it came here. If I click once more check, it will come to the next. So that way. So what uh, tips they gave? The photo you selected are displayed below. So they are giving you the training how to use them. If you are not familiar with how to use this uh, photo editor, online photo editor. So you can click next and it will move here and there and show you how to do the things. So different steps they are saying where to click also they are highlighting. Uh, this way once you understand you can got it if you want to repeat you can again click help and restart the tool and again it will start from scratch so uh, we have some photos from here now suppose uh, we'll go back one step and then enter into some other album we will click shift okay shift is not working we have to click uh, uh, so select also yeah so if you want to suppose you have so many photos and you want to click you have to click one by one each that's a cumbersome job so what you can do you can do a select all once you do a select all immediately it comes here so this way you have to fill at least some amount of images and uh, add there is at most also so you can go to the next page so they're saying at least you have to select something right so select it is 47 additional images for all pages for page your book to be automatically filled or continue to next step you would rather fill them manually so you can select it in this step or you can go to the uh, final page and still you can keep uploading that so i will do most of the work here uh, maybe i will choose something from my holy album do a select all and I think so much of thing came inside i'll go to the next some pages of book won't be automatically filled okay select 12 additional photo here in the page so still i'm lagging of lacking of 12 photos so 12 more photos I have to choose so what i will do from from here i'll choose some more photos and uh, select all I think now it should not shout so it's ensuring that you have enough photo to start your album but later point of time if you feel I need some photo to be replaced or I need some photo to be added uh, so this is the next page here you can anyway come to the photo section and and do the same here now uh, after coming here you can see there are uh, these images got filled into different pages of album so you can see how the album will look like they are giving the animation nice animation to show you how the uh, once you flip the page how this pages will look like they auto filled all this thing see they have done a quite good job but it will not be perfect you have to uh, move things so you will be uh, finding something like okay uh, you let me check something uh, maybe this photo I'll see okay so this hand is giving so suppose you are expecting it to be a little left shifted not like this so you click here you got the hand you move left and right and um, and you organize it properly you orient it properly and then here also you see there's a group photo and it's not fitting everything in a single page so maybe what you can do you can uh, reduce the size of this image how to reduce the size so the transform and then you can make it smaller you can fit it somewhere you can get some breathing space for this image 
now see all the people are visible so because you have made some layout change uh, to make it look better maybe you can uh, move some other images as well uh, so you want to pan or zoom you click here and uh, you can do that you want to transform you take this other option so how you want your mouse to work you can click on that if you want to rotate click here and then it automatically rotates so i'll do rotate one more time okay now suppose uh, your photo came back because of some design you want it went back and you want to bring it in the front uh, so what you can do is select this image and say front once you say front it should come up what happened so you selected this you said front and it came in front so now you see it's, mo it's moving in the front so it came into the front layer so you can you have the freedom to uh, design that way now you would have noticed this uh, red color asterisk mark came why why it came so you can click here anything is showing no so actually that uh, mark says that the photo resolution is not good so sometimes what happens you want to print out a big uh, paper you want to print out a uh, very small low quality photo in a very big paper so what will happen eventually is uh, it will pixelate or you will see a very blurred kind of image so to uh, automatically uh, alert you photogenic has this feature of this logo so once you see the logo you know that uh, this image is uh, too big for its resolution so you have to just make a justification or with the size uh, of the real image and uh, it's too much stressed so this logo came now i'll try to reduce the size so that the logo goes so you can see now the logo is still there now the logo has gone so again i'll move it i will stretch it to bring that logo again it not came now it came so i think uh, okay still it's coming yeah it's gone so this this one they are recommending uh, to be a uh, okay kind of printout. Uh, it can be so up to so if if they are just uh, stop giving stopping giving the alert in this phase. So better to be in safe side. You reduce little more to be in the safe side. Now you want to move it and re, uh, place it in a different place, and uh, you want to also move things so that it doesn't look odd. So maybe after after doing all this thing I might need to um, probably I can bring some more photo so I can set up like this and I can bring one uh, portrait kind of photo here and fit here so for that I can again go to the photo I can go to um, where uh, okay in Facebook uh, some photo I will pick maybe here I'll come I'll look for a portrait photo means the taller photos uh, I see there is a taller photo here or here or here so let me pick anything from that so let me pick it here and uh, and we'll we'll match all the borders to look it to make it look little professional and uh, move little and little right side okay so yeah and now we will will pan inside the photo and place all the faces inside the image so this way you can do so many uh, so many uh, modification in the existing image structure they proposed and after that you can put some text messages here so Okay, these are the layouts as you can see in single page you have three pages three images you can choose to orient the three images in a different way or you can choose a two image layout where to prepare the layout for you and then you have to pull the images uh, to fit them uh, okay so coming here add empty text box and uh, once you click the text box and you can say uh, say memories as yes, memories and uh, 
then I'll put it here and now I want to change something on this text so suppose I want to change the font style and then the size of the font or the text and then the color of the text so after doing all this thing this is how it looks like so now this uh, Caesar symbol is coming what it means so it means that something came out of the printing area means out of the album so what we will do we will make it fit inside the album we know that nothing is getting cut or getting out of the album because you see this uh, extra part which is which is out of the album has nothing to be printed but they don't know so they are giving you the extra alert so what i will do is i will move i will reduce the size of the thing and uh, now it's not shouting see it's okay so now again that resolution issue came uh, you have to fix those issues uh, so mostly you will get when you will be print when you will be taking photo from your mobiles but now it is the mobiles are also giving good photos so no worries uh, just you take care of the lights and 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 find out the good tips some good tips of taking good photo in mobiles for that also i'll come up with some video uh, okay however so uh, if you feel all the pages are good after doing all these modifications uh, you can very well go to the add to cart uh, okay so uh, one more thing is i want to mention here is suppose you don't like this background you want to put something in the background something other than what they provided this triangle kind of design right so suppose you don't like and you want to put something else what you can do is you you take a photo what you want into the background once it appeared what you will say is the background so once you make it as a background it came as the as a background and then uh, you see again that same thing applies for the background also this image is again not in a good quality so it's stretching too much so you have to choose a proper image for the background fit and uh, yeah uh, you, if you would have uh, if you would have uh, have a good resolution image then you could like to zoom in and out and pan and all this thing for the background thing by the hand you can pan and then uh, by this slider you can zoom but this is already in a bad state so you don't have any zoom option okay so with all the all the proper fits and proper uh, uh, checks uh, you can see by flipping the pages uh, how it's coming finally and with that you can go to the add to cart once you go add to cart if you miss something like see still there are some errors so it's warning me uh, page 34 back cover some photo place will have left empty in your project so okay actually this is different i uh, return to the project i will return back to my project they are saying that my back cover doesn't have any photo so this particular thing supports um, image to be printed in the covers front and back so you see the back cover doesn't uh, fill these photos are still empty so you can go here quickly and pick some photos here uh, okay not this way um, and delete this so i'll choose one and i'll click here i'll choose another i'll click here i'll choose the other i'll click here so that way it filled now i'll go to add to card still it's saying some other problem so you have to go um, and follow their instruction it's very easy you can fill everything and then you do a add to card once you do the add to card and you see this loading still wait for some time okay and now it's added to cart you know the total total price and now you can do a checkout while checking out it will ask you uh, for coupons so you can add the coupon codes uh, apply coupon code at checkout so while you check out you will get the coupon code you apply the coupon code you give your uh, home address and pay the amount or do a home delivery uh, cash on cash on delivery and everything is done so this is how uh, you can print your own album uh, so next time we will see how to uh, so actually the album designer is same for all the album uh, cases so maybe uh, next time i will come up uh, and discuss about what are the difference between the other uh, other categories and also you can see some of them are very premium quality what are the premium albums 
product collections uh, we will discuss about them in uh, some other video for hence you can know that um, now we have only one uh, paper quality lustre silk for Kodak collection and premium album you have a series of choices it has velvet paper and so many other things and for photographers like me uh, we get a kit to show our clients you can um, touch and feel the papers and decide on which uh, photo quality you want to choose for your album paper so with that um, uh, I'll say goodbye for this album but uh, soon we'll meet so have a happy lockdown days and don't worry everything will be fine in, in few days so with a great hope uh, me Shankha signing out thank you bye